Hello guys and welcome to another stream and tonight we are playing Ghost Giant. This is for the PlayStation VR and uh, yes I'm looking forward to playing this one. Um, I just want to thank uh, Thunderful for providing me with a code for the game, very much appreciated. So subtitles are on and let's start off with scene one by the lake. And I hope you enjoy it, guys. <clears throat> yeah, it's not very often that I uh, do it's the odd VR game. I think the last one was that uh, Demo Reborn. Then the one before that was that rush VR, and that made me feel sick. Ooh, the move controls are vibrating. Ghost Giants. dream like that time you thought your pearl was a giant marshmallow but then you started chewing on it and woke up with down in your mouth it's just like that and soon everything's going to be okay just calm down Louis. it's not real Sorry. Oh, the flag Maurice made. It's so worn out. I wonder what Maurice is doing now. <sighs> oh, you're still here, and you're still huge. I gotta go home. And so. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy. Bye 
ba 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 na na na. Yeah. <clears throat> On the farm. Is it uh, mm, picking the wood? No, I mean, yeah, yeah. Is it? Uh, mm, oh, it's gigantic and so helpful. Oh, is it helping me? Oh, oh, you, you missed some over there. You're the settlers. Who, who's a giant ghost? <laughs> um, you got. Really big hands. Thanks. Thank you, but but why are you helping me? <sighs> I'm sorry I panicked. I just I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? Oh dear. Hi, I'm Hutchie Haas. Hurry up and hide! Come on, quick, hide somewhere. Uh, Tree or something. Oh, forget it. Madame Lefebvre, don't be scared. It isn't dangerous. What are you talking about? You. <laughs> you can't see it. See what? Oh, oh my! By my lustrous mane, what on earth is that? Oh no! Don't worry. I'm pretty sure it doesn't want to eat us. I am joking, Louie. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I, um, <clears throat> here you are, some nice and tender asparagus. Thank you. Mom will be so pleased. Where is she, by the way? Mom? Uh, mm, by the lake. Fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Of course. Don't forget. See you later, Louie. Bye, Madame Lefebvre. Madame Lefebvre. Uh, she didn't really see you. Oh, uh, I know that thing about my mom wasn't entirely true, but anyhow, my name is Louis. Uh, what's your name? Do you have a name? Hot it's okay. House. You don't have to talk. I actually was a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, "Potato." <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? Could you? Could you come closer, please? Uh, may I? May I touch you? D -d don't be, um, nervous. <laughs> Whoa! You really are a ghost. A giant ghost. Can I call you Ghost Giant? Yes. You can. So... What happens if you touch me? <laughs> that tickles! Oh dear. I should plant the seeds before it starts to rain. The key. Where is the key? I'm sure I had it in my pocket. Oh no. Maybe I lost it by the lake. Or in the forest. Or in the house. Ugh. I always lose that thing. Feels so stupid. I'll go inside and look for it. Uh, perhaps you you can look for it here. Ah, the great quarry picker strikes again. Old shiny things belong to me. Ah! Ah. Huh? Where was I? Give me. 
Right. Where to hide it? Come on. Huh. That's a pretty good hiding place, actually. Mm. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. My apologies, but I believe I found it first. Whoa! No, I'm pretty certain. Well, I am absolutely certain. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. But you must be mistaken. I most certainly am not. But this key is mine. I assure you, it's mine. I can recognize it. Anywhere. I'm sorry, but I really need it. Not as much as yeah, I need it. Please give it to me, Monsieur. I'm afraid I can't. It's too shiny. <laughs> I mean, it's too wine. It's wine. But this key belongs to me. This I cannot see. How can this be? Why are we? Rhyming. I have no idea. Please let go. Yeah. Fine. Keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. Uh, thanks. Now we will sow the seeds, and the rain will fall, and the seeds will sprout and grow and grow and. Getting late. <clears throat> oh, I guess the rats got hungry this winter. Don't panic, Luis. There must be a solution. Of course! How obvious! You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. I know you don't want to, and you have absolutely zero money, but it'll be fine. Because you're not alone anymore, Luis. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping you, and you have no idea why. But it's a good thing, and everything will be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a secret. I've been teaching myself to drive, for emergency purposes only. And this is definitely an emergency. <laughs> but what if someone sees me? I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there. And I'll bring a disguise. A bit huh. rude to get him about your current task. I need something to make me look old enough to drive a car, not too old to drive one either. Oh. If only I had a beard or a mustache. <gasps> Why not both? Hey! Oh. There Hello. you go. I'm a grown-up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown-up. <laughs> that should do the trick. Come on, car! Please, come on, car! Please! You stupid car! <laughs> Mom used to push the car down the hill when it wouldn't start. Could you help me with the car, please? Hey, um, be careful. We paid a lot of money for that. Can you, uh, no, that's silly. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Lift the car. Make it float. Ah, uh, careful. Be 
careful. We paid a lot of money for that. That way? No. Ah! Hey, uh, can you please be a bit more careful? What do you want me to do? Adjusted, seatbelt on, hands on the wheel, deep breath. <gasps> this hill is really steep. Come on, car. Oh, hey, ghost giant, follow me. Good thing I know how to brake. <laughs> I think. Trophy. There you go, sir. How do you tell if the tree's in love? It says, never leave. I throwing things at them. I know it seems to be stuck. Oh, so close. Ah, bloody hell. Oh, come on, man. Too high, too low. Not right, there, there. Alright, got it. Yeah, 
Ja, aber... Ja. Oh, that's cool. You really blew them away. <laughs> Trophy. Oh my goodness! This road goes ever on and on. Oh, I'm missing a flower. Is that a flower? Found you. Right all. Bye bye bear. this humongous boulder with my giant hand and throw it away <laughs> i could never have done it without you nope hey do you know what we need a secret handshake slap my hand come on do it come on that's it now uh, bump like this like this okay ah oh, come on <laughs> That's great. Slap, bump. That's our secret handshake. <sighs> I wish I could tell Maurice about you. Oh well. Time to take off this beard. It's stuck. And it's so itchy. Help. I can't get it off. Thanks. I still got an itch behind my ear. Can't reach it. Ah. Mm. Could you please? <laughs> ah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's go see Monsieur Tulip. <laughs> we should do that again sometime. Let's do this. Bye, tomatoes. Bye, this. Oh, this good. Push your Tulip's shop is open. Delicious. Tomatoes. So good for you. Buy them. Please. Want to get rid of them? Why was I born to a family of vegetable traders? Why do I lack the courage to? Why some other profession? Why? Ugh, such a coward.
It's another ball. Did that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <gasps> nice. I dig that. They're all phonies. Seen you in a while, Louis. Well, ah, there it is. Or your mother. We've been very busy. Actually, we were just about to plant sunflowers. Louis. But then it turned out the rats had eaten all the seeds. I can't give you any more credit. What? I'm sorry, my dear boy, but your mother has too many unpaid bills. Where is she, by the way? At home. She sprained her ankle, so I hitched a ride with Madame Lefebvre. Ah, Madame Lefebvre. Hmm. How is she these days? Is her yeah. mane still as lustrous? Uh, I guess. Listen, Louis. I'm all out of sunflower seeds. <coughs> there was a shipment due this morning, but something must have happened to it. I'd go down to the harbor, but I'm simply too busy. I'll go. I'm not sure you can do this, Louis. After all, you're just a little boy. I have a very large friend. Pardon? Uh, nothing. I'll take care of it. I promise. Very well. Talk to the harbor master, Monsieur Cousteau. Okay, great. Thanks. Bon courage, young man. Bon courage. Oh dear. It's Madame Lafer. Bonjour, Monsieur Bonbon. I think you're in love with Here's your of us. Either way, we're all. Oh, uh, great. Find something I can hide with. So, uh, hide me. What's How in are your vegetables doing? That which we call a rose by any oh, other word uh, would smell as sweet. Can I have a look? Uh, no. Delicious. No, no need. Hell. Why are you covering them up? Oh yeah. I'm not covering them up. Me. I'm just got to hide. Protecting them Help. from. The sun. The sun? Yeah, Find something I can hide with the sun. Hide me! The shy kind. Oh, okay. 
So, uh, I need to hide inside something. Business these something days. I need to hide inside something. Uh, something fine. hollow. You know, I mean something hollow. Sometimes red, definitely. There you go. Look at the state of those tomatoes. They are an affront <coughs> to tomatoes everywhere. You're not worthy of my asparagus, Rose Monsieur Bonbon. Bon. You're a disgrace to the vegetable trade. You're absolutely right, madame. That? I detest vegetables. Please remove your asparagus from my sight. I will indeed. Adieu. Adieu, madame. Uh. What? Louis, <laughs> what are you doing here? Where's your mother? She's at the cemetery. You know how she loves <coughs> tombs. But I told her about the bill, and she's definitely going to pay. Very well, then. See ya. Uh, have a nice day. Square mm. lives. Like I said. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to cross the bridge. Are you sure you want to do that? Or did society put that idea in your head? We're blocking this bridge as a statement. Why? Because there's that no truth. There's nothing wrong with so my you won't let me through there? because you want it's just a bit mushy. Heart. Yeah, the little guy gets us. Good for you, little guy. They look really mushy. Ah. Yes, Odile. I can't remember. Oh, that's what that's for. I'm tired of painting landscapes, but no one appreciates true art in this My country. My tomatoes can be whatever they want. Instead, they pay me to paint what they can get for free when they look <laughs> out the window. City to find inspiration. Oh, are you? Uh, are you gonna oh, paint all that? Here I am. Uh, that why not? Lady. There's nothing wrong with my tomatoes, is there? They're just a bit mushy. And gross. Ew. Oh, to be young you again. Look really mushy. To live on just one more splash of yellow. And, uh, or two. Uh, when you're past the, village, the concept of starving artists kind of loses its charm. Make it darker. Darker. Uh, I really should get started on the duck pond. So. Rock. Dynamic. Bonies. Smelly. <laughs> Let's add something blue. 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 Look, like you. I'm. Um. Encore. I'm thinking about darkness. Oh, I need some more of that. The midnight sky. <clears throat> Shots. Sometimes I just want to run through a museum as fast as I can. But there is no museum in this town. If there were a museum, it would be a museum for Keep phones. going. Right, big bad. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with my tomatoes, is there? They're just a bit mushy. And gross. Interesting technique. What's really next? Mushy. Look at all the squares. Oh, what about the square hmm. business? Do you Eating like their red? square lives. I like red. Like red? Um, is it art? Yeah, Pentagon. Not yet, I think. Heptagon. Cocktagon. <coughs> Not a god. Let's make it even green. Dodecahedron. Oh, yeah. My tomatoes can be a good thing. choice. But something is missing. What I wouldn't give to paint something more abstract. Let's find some yellow. Like uh, some kind of flower. What I wouldn't give to paint something more. Something that exudes life. <laughs> yeah! How revolting! If there's one so, thing I hate more than vegetables, it's vegetable puree. Let's paint the town red. I'm or at least the case. I'm done with this business. You're so cool. Crystallizes dreams. <laughs> dreams. And Here I come. Catch up. Oh. So I suppose. Um. Come, come at me. Uh. <laughs> Extra. Let's add some oh, brightness to it, like Am the I? sun or sunflower. <laughs> Uh, don't think about that, Louis. About Gotta get those seeds. I'm thinking about there we go. What's that go? That's the burning fun. star. Oh, eh, voila. Oh, time <clears> to <throat> display my shame. Oh, 
power. Ooh, such passion. I painted such that. Vision. <laughs> Magnifique. Did you paint this, madame? I... Actually, I'm not sure how it got there. Mm, don't be modest, madame. You're a great artist. You really think so? It's so subversive what you're doing. Pretending to be a phony Dusty. landscape painter. But in That's secret, it. you're a revolutionary visionary. Why... Why, yes, I am. We salute <laughs> you, madame. Nice. I'm Odile, by slide. the way. Please. Woo! Call yeah. me Nikki. I dig that. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool, huh? Well, that turned out pretty. Pretty. I guess you're an artist now, Ghost Giant. Mm -hmm. Let's go get those sunflower seeds. Chovy. What's that meant to be? That food. I can imagine it's food. Hmm. Never. Look at these budding flowers. Soon they will blossom. And I. Et la vie. Et la vie. in a name that which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet mm. Mm, delicious yay got that got that another piece of food Roses are red, violets are blue, and so scrumptious. Where's the other piece of food? Madame Lefebvre prefers. Iris? Chrysanthemum? Lily of the Valley? Perhaps Ranunculus.
there. I can see it, but it won't let me get to it. the food be Oh, he <laughs> got you. any of food can you the flowers madame Le Flower. very strange And a hoop. Oh, it's there. That hmm. went well. Oh, stupid cloud. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, bloody <laughs> She loves me, she loves me now. <sighs> loves me. Oh. Too hard. Too soft. <laughs> flowers. They will blossom and wither and die. Oh. So close. Yes. <laughs> Who's doing that? Hello? What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word. 
would smell as sweet. Mm. Mm, delicious. Can't see any other food. Roses are red, violets are blue, and so scrumptious. Madame Lefebvre. I don't care. Anemone, violet, chrysanthemum, lily of the valley. Well, I just don't know, so let's continue. I do apologise for keeping you waiting, because I don't know, I just like to find everything in certain games, I like to collect stuff. The harbour. can I do for ye? Are you Monsieur Cousteau? The harbour master? Aye, lad. But not for long, I'm afraid. If I don't get this crane up and running, I won't be able to load and unload cargo <coughs> from the ships. Yar. Is that the ship transporting sunflower seeds? Aye. Aye. Some mighty fine Wellington boots that I'm itching to put me feet in. These ones squeak. Okay. Um, well, what's wrong with the crane? It's been gutted. Some scurvy scallywag has taken off with its innards, and I can't leave me post. Yar! I'll look for the missing parts. Hi, what's your name, laddie? Louis. Louis, it's mighty kind of ye to help an old sea dog in need. Ahoy, Captain Pellicard! I got some unexpected help here. You collected kelp here? Really, this is not the time to discuss your interest in seaweed. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what the missing parts look like. All I gotta do is jump in the water. Piece of cake. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Don't know, Captain. Phew. I need a break. Oh, tiny. 
Technically, so am I. But the stairs are broken, and uh, I, I can't jump very far. Writing extortion letters would be so hard. I wish I had a pearl, and I'd be rich, and the scheme wouldn't be necessary. Oh well. <coughs> Dear Monsieur Christophe, be afraid, be very afraid, for it is I, the master thief, Hori, who has rendered your crane at un un uh, I broke it. I won't tell you where the parts are until you promise to give me 20% no, 50% of all shiny things that enter the heart. And by shiny, I mean gold, pearls, diamonds, and did I mention pearls? Actually, make that 60%. You have six notes. Five a day. Sign. Yeah, so that was one. This is my most brilliant plan ever. This is my most brilliant plan ever. Too bad for you, but then I took a hard pull in the knee. Oh, nice you're fixing the green. That's great. <laughs> Looks like there are three to go. Look inside. Okay. That hole is very small, but so am I. Hey, a ghost giant. Sometimes I wonder. Maybe we're all cogs in a machine. Maybe. See it. seems to be choking on something. Maybe we could tickle him. Or something. You know, so he loves it out. Maybe? Give me your hand. Where's it something? I ate. see is... All right, ghost giant. High five. Or, uh, it feels like... Oh, dear. What was that thing? Did that shiny crown come out of my body? It must be the simplest thing I've uh, ever made. No, He's you're handsome. handsome. No, you are. You are. <sighs> shiny. Shiny. Hmm. 
Ah. Oh, so close. Oh. Kill my man. It's way too far. Come on, Harry. I don't know, I saw a bit of wind there. Thought I'd blow. Ah! Come on, Harry. Found. Ah, so I'm looking for hats. There's one underneath there. No, you are. You are. Oh, come on. Ah, shiny. Uh. Ooh, oh, God. Come on, you can do it. Ah. Not like that, anyway. <sighs> oh. Ah! oh, love. The bargain. Jump. Nope. Jump. Nope. Hmm. And the ball's not there now. Okay. That's not how it goes. Why, thank you. You have a heard what I said. Anyway. Oh, I missed it! <laughs> oh, blimey me, boy! You did it! What? Is the crane working? We have to start the crane. Would you do the honors? Stop her that! Sink me! What happened? Yard. I'm sorry, me boy. This is too much for me. I'm taking a cork. <laughs> Mr. Cousteau! Oh, oh when... Uh, oh, that scurvy freebooter gets the hemp and jig. I guess it's up to us again. Maybe a fuse blew? Happens all the time back at the farm. Fuse blue. Oh, that must be the generator. Or supernova space stage engine, as me and Maurice would like to call it. <laughs> Much cooler. 
Um, this is and it's broken. Wait. I think something is missing. I can even see my reflection. Hello there. Aren't you handsome? I bet no, that old cannon would shoot handsome. through anything no, and strike are, fear into you any are. old pipe king's trousers. <laughs> We need to fix the generator. Let's have a look inside the warehouses. sometime. There's something in there though. looks promising, but how do we get in? Hey! Get a move on! Oh! 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 No! Ah, that's how we do it. I will always remember you. <laughs> Never mind getting a move on. I want to get this. So close. Oh man. Take it, piss. Oh, come on. Huh. 
Come on, Harry. No, what's Oh, look! Uh, thing on a thingy? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, uh, some things. Yeah, it's working. It's working! Hold on. Suckly blue. Got you. Sad, isn't it? I really like that bonnet, and now it's gone forever.
where would the other places be? Just do it now. Yeah, we've got all the hats, we just need a bloody basket. <laughs> oh, come on. Bloody hell, man! Oh, come on! Yes! Monsieur Tulipe. <clears throat> oh dear. Whoa. I hope Monsieur Tulipe is pleased. Thank you, Louis. I'm not sure how you did it, but you did it. And here's your reward. A sack full of sunflower seeds, free of charge. Oh, thanks. This is just what we need. De rien. Now, would you please excuse me? These lilacs need my full attention. <laughs> oh, dear. It's Marie. What should I do? Hi, Maurice. <laughs> Hi, Louis. Didn't see you there. Or maybe I was ignoring you, like you ignored me on our opening night. I'm sorry about that. I don't want your excuses. We had practiced for months, and we were magnificent, and we were about to show it to the world, or at least the town, but you stood me up. You could have played on your own. It was a duet. <laughs> How am I supposed to play a duet on my own? Do I have four arms? What am I, a, 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 an octopus? An octopus has eight arms. I know that. Why didn't you show up at our recital? I... I... Don't say you had a cold. I had a cold. I thought we were friends. We are! Friends don't lie to each other. Oops. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, that was Maurice. We're best friends. Or used to be, anyway. Let's go home. 
Come on, Ghosty. It's going to rain soon. We'd better go back. I ain't going back just yet. Such passion. <clears throat> Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh. Found. <laughs> Need a basket. See a basket anywhere? Right, oh, it's up there, there it is. Really? Ghost farmer. We made it. We have to plant the seeds before it rains. But first, we have to get rid of the wilted flowers. Whoa! Oh, I'll take the next one. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Honestly, I was gonna take that one, <laughs> but you were so fast. You're doing go, uh, team. Well, you're doing most of the work, but uh, well, I'm more of a director. I'm not lazy. It's just cool when you do it. You're doing great! Ah, oh, buddy. <laughs> you know the drill. Get rid of all the wilted sunflowers. Go, ghost giant! Go! You won't let me go. If it let me go near it. You're doing great. Now ah, there we go. Okay, great. Now <coughs> let's sow those seeds. Left. 
bag. Oh, great ghost giant, please save me. Yes, away with you, puny bag. <laughs> I wasn't really stuck. It's just swell when you make things float, you know? Okay, let's sprinkle some seeds. That's right, you're doing great! Sprinkle. Sow those seeds. All done. It should rain any second now. Any second. Rain. Where did it go? I wish I could smash those clouds together and make them crackle. No rain clouds in sight. Hidden lights. Come on, clouds! Get bigger! Get darker! No rain clouds in sight. Fluffy, happy clouds. I wish I could turn them into dark and gloomy rain clouds. Ah, mm, where's rain when you actually need it? their own time. <laughs> hey, ghost giants! Uh, can I... Can I touch a cloud? I wonder if they feel as soft as they look. Fluffy and pretty damp. Not too fast! Not too fast! It's so tiny! There's my house! And there's that 
We took care of the field. Come on, ghost giant. We're heading home. Pretty cool. Louis' house. Maybe she can see you, ghost giant. After all, we are related. Uh, my mom and I, not you and I. <laughs> that is, if you're not the ghost of an ancient giant relative of mine. If she can't see you, though, I probably shouldn't tell her about you just yet. She gets spooked easily. <sighs> spooked. Mama! Look, just so you know, sometimes my mom gets really sad. Like, really sad. But she always Depression. gets better. And this will cheer her up, I'm sure. Mama, guess what? The rats had eaten all the sunflower seeds, but I got a whole sack for free from Monsieur Tulip. And then we sowed them, and then it rained, and the seeds are already sprouting. It's like magic, it really is. And... Mom? Mom. <sighs> I'm tired, Louis. Sorry. <sighs> no, 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 no. This is bad. She'll get better. She always does. But... But what if she doesn't? It's never been this bad before. It's my fault. I took too long sowing the sunflowers, and I made her worry. I have to think of something. I have to make her feel better. But what if I can't? This is bad. This is really bad. Oh. Huh? There you are. Why did you shrink? Is it because of me? I just ruin everything, don't I? This is our home. If you want, I can show you around. Just point. <laughs> That's mom visiting her grandparents when she was a little girl. She always said she wanted to become the world's first sunflower farmer cellist when she grew up. told me to get in the car, and we drove all the way to the amusement park. She loves surprising me. Oh, 
it's all getting better. Mom and great grandma after great grandpa died. Right after we took that picture, a jellyfish stung my toe. Mom kicked the jellyfish, and it stung her toe, too. Mm. All these memories? If only I could remember what used to make her smile. sure loves apple pie. <laughs> Mom's a fan of the Commissaire Magran novels, but sometimes they give her a headache because they're so complicated. be a cellist and tour the world. Vienna, Moscow, New York, Tokyo. She loved it. I have a feeling some of these pictures are more important than the others. But which ones? hasn't played the cello in years. She must miss it. I have a feeling some of these pictures are more important than the others. But which one? Apple pie. Mom's favorite. I have a feeling some of these pictures are more important than the others. But which ones? Jellyfish are stupid. No, no. I thought I had it, but try again. Mom hasn't played the cello in years. She must miss it. Apple pie. Mom's favorite. I have a feeling some of these pictures are more important. Mom loves surprises. Wait a minute. Mom always says her three favorite things are me, music, and apple pie. I'm going to surprise her. Where did she put the cello? Mm -hmm. Wait, here it is! Oh no, the bow! It's broken! No! What to do? What to do? Uh, think, Louis, think! Wait, now I've got it! Like, really, really got it! Oh! 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 I've got an idea! Let's go to town! Let's go, Ghosty! We're going back to town! Trophy!
Where would that be? Got you. <laughs> Is mommy suffering with depression? Falls and tunes. I finally found my calling. My vegetable days are behind me. The future is bright and brimming with sugar. But good for their happiness. Oh, great. You're big again. Then I don't have to make up a new name for you, like average sized ghost. All right, yeah. all you've got to do is convince Monsieur Debussy to sell you a cello bow, even though you don't have any money, and he's probably terribly upset with you for missing the piano recital. Oh, this is a bad idea. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow, or next week. Caramel, fudge, gummy bears. You're not on your own, Louis. But I kind of feel like I am. Curiosities, antiques, accessories. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Who's there? Who did that? Hey, Ghost Giant, you're watching me, right? Secret handshake? High five! Or, uh, three. All right, Ghost Giant! Clench, then bump. Yes! That's the secret handshake! Oh, oh! Okay, Louis. Let's do this. Remember, Monsieur Debussy is a great fan of Mom. And he's a nice man. Deep, deep, deep inside, I think. Wasting your talent. And that is a crime. A crime against the art. I'm sorry I didn't show up for the recital. I don't care about that vulgar show. I'm talking about your lessons. 
Tell me, Louie, have you so much as glanced at the piano lately? I... I've been kind of busy. Busy? Too busy to give praise to Apollo and the Muses? Too busy to celebrate the divine gift of music? I'm very disappointed. And so is Maurice. Did you know that he destroyed his piano in a fit of rage after you stood him up? He did? But that's all behind us now. We can begin practicing at once. I really want to, Monsieur Debussy, but I need to get a cello bow for my mom. You mean Pauline Lafleur, the greatest musical legend of Sancor? Of course! I'll give you one for free, if you assist me in a matter. Definitely! What is it? I've been trying to finish my magnum opus, but it keeps eluding me. It's about life and death. Your task is to venture out and listen to the sounds of the streets. Find the music for me, Louis. So you want me to bring you music? I thought I made myself clear. Uh, <laughs> perfectly. I I'm on it. Oh. I guess Sacrilege. we better start looking. Someone has put their greasy paws all over this magnificent tuba. Oh, I only have myself to blame. All those years selling rotten vegetables. No wonder the customers don't trust me. One customer. That's all I need. Welcome. Welcome. Someone who could spread the word about my delicious candy. He's the composer, not me. No. Oh dear. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. This piccolo flute. It's so cute. My Curiosities, antiques, excessive. Uh, but good for their happiness. <laughs> You really miss him. Maybe he had a good reason for missing the recital. I don't get it. Why won't he tell me the truth? Well, maybe he has a new best friend. I feel like playing something melancholy and mournful right now. If only I hadn't destroyed my piano. Oh, you're so stupid, Maurice. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Caramel, fudge, gummy bears, nougat, macarons. Something was wrong. An unmistakable smell reached his nostrils. Commissaire Migraine stopped dead in his tracks. Stop. Don't stop writing. I meant stop like that is where the sentence ends. One could think you'd be able to tell the difference after 19 novels. Excusez-moi. Oh, I'm sorry, ma chérie. I, I simply can't focus in this silence. I can't believe that awful Monsieur Chevre sneaked into our apartment and stole Basil's hat. You mean confiscated it. I'm the landlord of this building and I can't relax because of that bird shrieking. Shrieking? How dare he? Oh, poor Basil. Look at him. He's depressed. I can't write when he is depressed. Darling, I know. But your deadline. I... Poor bird. He can't <laughs> sing without his special detective's hat. <laughs> Where are all the customers? <laughs> I thought people <laughs> liked unhealthy food. <laughs> Perhaps they don't like me. They've already done so. Twice. Maybe I should get her something edible. Something sweet. No music here. Just noise. Sweet silence. No more of that shrieking upstairs. I've almost burned many times, I remember. 
but did they take this bracelet and this necklace? Huh? Well, they sure did. After I shut up that croaking oh, creature for the Woe is Basil. Just no hat, no precious no hat from him. If only that wretched face would find it in his raisin of a heart. Stop laughing! What's so funny? There's nothing funny hey, about that. Do you know who lives in that tall house? Pink Leopard. Madame Levier. She used to write all the Commissaire McGrath novels. But I read that she suffers from writer's block ah, since her bird stopped singing. Trumpets should be banned! Oh, a cooking <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 don't you turn on that bed. What? What's this? Oh, this is what I like. It's quiet. It's restful. It's soothing. So restful. And soothing. Toffee, chocolate truffle, maroon glace, weird Swedish licorice, polka gris. If music be the food of love, play on. Why would love eat music? Weird. Monsieur Chevre. <laughs> How could he? That horrible old goat. It's like I have a song stuck in my head. Only instead of a song, there is complete and utter silence. Shoot! Something was wrong. He could sense it. An unmistakable smell. Commissaire Migraine stopped dead in his tracks. It smelled like... blue cheese. And not just any kind. Roquefort. You are a genius, Cherie. They're going to award you the Prix Goncourt. Oh, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, it's an acquired taste, and I guess I could learn to dig it over time. What the hey, it's a start. Let's write it down. Candy for your loved ones. It's bad for their teeth. Well, uh, Sierra Bomba is selling candy. Happiness. Huh. That actually makes a lot of sense, but where are all the customers? What's a beautiful lilac scarf? Yeah, wait, what was that? Hello? I can wear it. Tonight, we celebrate. Yes. Oh, I will take you to dinner. I'm thinking... French food? How romantic. Piccolo flute. It's so... Oh, what a lovely necklace. Oh, and that bracelet. Oh, those earrings. Uh, I'm not even sure if she cares for jewelry. Oh, just look at this piccolo flute. It's so... Cute! Welcome! Welcome to Marguerite's Oh, nip that one in the bud. What's Monsieur Delip doing? Is he looking for a gift? If only someone or something would lead me to the perfect edible present. Oh, dear. Curiosities! Antiques! Accessories! What a beautiful lilac scarf. <laughs> oh, I know someone who would go nuts well, if you saw those dried up flowers. I thought people liked unhealthy food. Perhaps 
Perhaps they don't like me. Someone should water those poor flowers. Are you up for the task? Flowers are too predictable coming from me. I want her to see I mean. Yeah, you see a foal. He tried to bully Mom to selling the farm. He edible. wanted to tear it down and build sweet. a plastic flower factory. Oh, Someone should teach him a lesson. Uh, I only could go out there. Very well, sell them to people who don't appreciate them. You need good homes, my darlings. Yes. Bubbles and bijoux. Oh, what a lovely necklace. Oh, and that bracelet. Oh, those earrings. <laughs> I'm not even sure if she cares for jewelry. Bric-a-brac and mix it. <laughs> gonna use the water. Would lead me to the perfect edible treasure. Toffee! Chocolate trouble! Maron glacé! Weird Swedish licorice! Agree. This will be a success. Quite like a I can feel it. We celebrate. Yes. Oh, I will put a beautiful <laughs> Heart-shaped box would be a perfect gift for someone. It's a shame Mom doesn't like chocolate. Also, I don't have any money. Minor detail. Give me a cool someone has put their greasy paws all over this magnificent tuba. What's that tempting smell? Hmm. A trail of sweets. How mysterious. Look. It's With just like that commissaire me grandmother. I look like the daughter of a king. <laughs> and so good. Birds! Oh, oh, I can't stand them. Vile critters always gobbling down precious seeds and delicate pollinators. Oh, show you feathered beans to chew! Aww. May the wind take you and your bloodthirsty beaks. Aww. Just look at this piccolo. It's so cute! Pay for that sign. Right, Just put it there. Sunko will be a better place without it. Bad for their Look teeth, at those uh, fireworks. For their Are you happiness. thinking what I'm thinking? And the hidden rock for take you and your blood thirsty <laughs> Come on, ghost giant. Nice oh, one. Fudge, gummy bears, nougat, macaroon. Nice. Let's go. Go on, flap those wicked wings of yours. Oh, fly away. All these instruments oh. gathering dust. But I can't very well sell them to people oh, who don't appreciate them. You need good homes, my darlings. Yes, you do. I'll oh, show you feathered beans to chew. We celebrate. Yes. Oh, I will. I'm thinking French food. Need a gift? May the wind take you and your bloodthirsty beaks. What's cracking, buddy? Oh, okay. The exquisite waist. Go on, back those wicked wings of yours. Oh, fly away! There's 
nothing quite like a violin. Oh, chew, you feathered beans, to chew! All that stuff is boring. You should buy something edible, like chocolate. Perhaps, perhaps they don't like me. there with one of my boxes and offer people a free sample but i have to stay here and mind the shop what do you think of this oh, just look at this piccolo flute he should he should try giving out free samples that would lure the customers to a stand may the wind take you and your bloodthirsty beaks good <laughs> Awful Monsieur Faux and his fake flowers trying to put me out of business. I will not yield so easily. Oh no, I will not. I can feel tonight. We celebrate. Yes, I will take you to dinner. I'm thinking. Captivatingly dangerous. She's not Marguerite who is responsible for what the customer does with her fireworks. Well, well. Monsieur Bonbon is selling candy. What's that? Hmm. That actually makes a lot of sense. Flowers. But where are all the customers? Sell them to people who just oh, no. oh, no. attract more customers. Who did this to you? God is who sweet did this too? to you? Uh, <laughs> slogan will attract more it grew customers. Up so fast. God is sweet. Good tooth. Hum. I won't forget you. Oh, who am I kidding? I need to get my chocolate out of there! What was that? That smell. Chocolate. A and a hint of... Rose? <clears throat> you are correct, sir. <laughs> These are rose-flavored truffles. Oh, be still, my heart. Please. Have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, that is good. A box for you, monsieur? Yes! Uh, I mean, yes. Sly Foxer. My first customer. What a sensation. I feel like dancing or singing. Yes, maybe that'll attract even more customers. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> um. Candy! Candy! Uh, no. Uh, too much on the nose. Um, okay. Uh, trying something classier. Well, it's not the sweetest tune ever but he's trying and that's pretty inspiring writing it down yes hmm this is great stuff but monsieur debussy said something about death i wonder oh dear we have to go to the cemetery <sighs> follow me <laughs> Cemetery. Trophy. Just one more. To make sure it's as good. Oh, one more, more, more. Okay. I'm thinking um, French food.
Treasure and trash. Uh, a ghost! Oh, it's just you. <laughs> this place gives me the creeps. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's probably very nice and homey if you're a ghost. <laughs> hmm. Where to begin? Woo! Look at those bells. I bet they make nice sounds. Uh, uh, here. Reach them. Uh, well, luckily, I've got my giant maestro. Take it away. <laughs> well, for now, guys, I think I shall leave it there. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be coming back for this one. I'm really enjoying it. I really am enjoying it. Not everyone gets it. So yeah guys, that was uh, part one of uh, Ghost Giant for the PSVR, and uh, yes, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, pretty cool graphics, bit of comedy in there I like, and uh, yeah, some pretty cool little puzzle solving as well, which is just the right package for me. So, you know what to do guys, if you do want to follow or subscribe, you know, you, you know the, the gist of it. <laughs> So feel free, links are in the description, and we shall definitely be back for the next part of Ghost Giants. So yes, this is Badger Az, hope you enjoyed again, I shall see you soon with a new video.